Uh, well, let's bring in the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, Mel Stride. A very good morning to you. Welcome to the programme. Thanks for uh, braving the cold for us. Um, I want to talk to you, first of all, about our top story this morning. A difficult day for the Prime Minister, his authority being undermined by not only a former ally and immigration minister, but also deputy chairman of the party. Uh, this is not only serious for his own premiership, could result in uh, vote no confidence, but this has become totemic, hasn't it? An example of just what chaos the Conservative Party is in at the moment. Well, look, people have quite rightly uh, very strong views uh, about the Rwanda uh, bill, and the reason for that, in fact, is that we are all united in a very uh, clear uh, sense that uh, we need to get this bill through uh, to, in order to uh, create a deterrent uh, such that we stop this terrible trafficking of people across the Channel. And let's not forget that uh, over the weekend we had yet another tragic loss of life in those dark, cold waters of the Channel. We need to stop that. Uh, we also need to build on the progress that we're making. We've seen a reduction of 36% uh, in the level of crossings across the Channel. That compares to very strongly rising figures actually across Europe, including an 80% increase in the case of uh, uh, Italy. And the reason we've made that progress, of course, is we have a very clear plan, of which the Rwanda bill is part, to get these numbers down, and that's why it's working and we have an opportunity to go uh, a lot uh, further. And you compare that to, to Labour, who've got really nothing to say on this at all. And the reason Keir Starmer's got nothing to say other than to oppose uh, is that they have no plan. And what we need to do and what we need to make sure is we don't end up going to back to square one, open borders, all of these problems, and that we stick to the plan that we brought forward. Oh, I know you'd prefer to focus on, on, on Labour and all of this, but the, the tr hard truth is you've got a working majority of 54 and apparently 60 MPs who prepared uh, to vote against the bill as it stands. What is the Prime Minister going to do about it? Because you've got the One Nation is going there. Is, this is as far as it can go and we won't take it any further. Well, well uh, you, you say vote against uh, the, the bill. The reality is these are amendments. There are a few bills that go through Parliament without at least uh, uh, proposed amendments being brought forward, as has happened here. What happens, what really matters actually is that the uh, bill is, is robust and fit for purpose, as I'm sure it will be when it's gone through its parliamentary stages, and it goes through third reading and onto the statute book. And there's a very clear rationale as to why we're bringing this forward and so determined uh, to do so, and that is to break the model so that those uh, criminal enterprises that are exploiting people, in some cases relating, uh, resulting very sadly uh, in people perishing in the channel, that we bring an end to that, build on the progress that we've already made, a 36% reduction in the number coming across over the last year, totally counter to what's happening in Europe where the numbers are rocketing uh, ever upwards. And we can only do that because we have a very clear plan as to how we're going to bring these numbers down. And as I say, you contrast that with Labour, who are really opposing the entire bill here, uh, because they have no plan. And that's why they have nothing okay. to say about this and will take us back to open borders and square one. And that's really why this bill is so important. Um, I know you want to talk this morning uh, about employment figures uh, and wage inflation. Um, the, the, just to give the headlines there, the yeah. um, uh, employment is, remains unchanged at 4.2%. Wage inflation has e eased back to 6.6%. Uh, are you pleased with those figures? Yeah, I think they're further evidence that through time what is happening is we've, look, we've had a really difficult time as a country. We've had COVID, a massive contraction in the size of the economy around that. We've had the war between Ukraine and Russia, which has meant uh, lots of inflationary pressure. But what these figures show is that our plan is working. What these figures show is that inflation now is uh, uh, under half of what it was a year ago, beating the target set by the Prime Minister. That's taking uh, some pressure off people in terms of cost of living. We're seeing near record levels of employment, near record low levels of unemployment. We're seeing re real wages increasing, of course, for the fifth month uh, in a row now. And all this progress is because we've got a very clear plan of turning the economy around, giving us a brighter uh, future. And what we don't want to do is to really jeopardise all that with a Labour Party that has no plan, has nothing really to say about this and is going to take us back to, to, to square one. We're making progress and we need to continue to do that uh, with the plan that we're working to. OK, Secretary of State, I know you've got to go now. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you.